Hello, I'm Judith Akini, still in my hustle to build my house. I'm here today and I'm looking at what I want to do next. I've completed my electrical part and now I'm waiting for electricity. I have a problem with my door and I want to see how I'm going to fix these doors because it's a rainy season and the door swells. Unfortunately, the contractor didn't tell me everything about how to fix this door. And I've decided now to do it because the door is swelling and sometimes I can't lock it. So I'm going to Kisumu and I want to go and find some things that will fix this door. This is one of the doors that I want to fix. This is the kitchen side. And when it rains, the rain will come in. And when you look down there, when you look down there, that's where the rain hits most. You can see it has changed its color. So I want to fix that so that I can see how it's going to be. I've not been locking it, but recently I called somebody and made some few changes so that the door can lock, can be locked. So I want to go to Kisumu, go get things like sanding sealer, uh, clear varnish, thinner, and sandpaper. Anything that you make when you're building a house, you'll get itches here and there. Because sometimes the fundi will tell you something and he will not complete or make you know exactly what is going to take you to do. Like in my case, he just told me to go and buy a door, a wooden door. So I went to Kisumu and bought this door. There are two, there's another one at the front. And when I came, it was just fixed and he went. So I started seeing problems. I called someone else now and told me that he could have done, he could have, he, he could have done the sanding and make some oil like the, 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 clear, the clear varnish so that the door can be protected whenever it is raining or whenever it is sunny because like this it's going to the, the the wood is going to rot inside and one day one time i'll have to move it again or to remove it again so i want to f try and see how i can fix that door uh, you can see how it is let me try and lock it oh it's a bit dark uh, if you can see clearly up up there you can see you can you can see some like it's coming outside and these are things that were supposed to be to be fixed earlier and then you see down there the water hits outside but you can see it's like it has come inside so it's a hassle it's a hassle, but let me see what I'm going to do about it. This is the front door. When you look at it, you can also see it has a problem. Uh, you can see the sun rays are now coming and it's changing the color of the door. So these are one of the problems that I want to fix. I'll go inside when you look. At the inside part, I was also supposed to buy the locks. I was supposed to buy the right side so that it can be opened by this side. And the left side was supposed to remain closed so that it can only be opened when I want to or something bigger is coming in. So this left side was supposed to remain closed and I use the right side. 
So this also has to be fixed. I'll have to remove the lock this other side and buy the right side lock. So these are hitches that you will always go through whenever you are building everything will not go smoothly. So think twice or think whenever you want to put a door, what type of a door do you want? The problem is I'm in a very sunny place and when it rains, it also affects the door. So the doors are going to be affected during sunny days and the doors are going to be affected during rainy days. At the moment, let me just do uh, the sanding and the other things and see how it's going to be. I hope it will take me longer. I hope it will take me longer. These are the things that I went to buy and as you can see there is a standard thinner this is a standard thinner and then this is sanding sealer and this is clear varnish and the sandpaper so these are the things which are going to protect my doors i hope it's going to work out let's see how it's going to be when it is done have now fixed the doors they look a bit better than the way they were at least the varnish is going to protect the door a bit this is the front door and it is always sunny during afternoon so the varnish is going to protect the door i hope it will take me longer i've not finished everything because up there i'm supposed to put a glass there's some things i still have to do in this door but what i wanted to do is to protect it from the sun this is the back door and it also looks better than the way it was it's also going to be protected this other side the rain hits this other side more than the front doors we are in a rainy area and sometimes the rain will hit hard but i think now it's going to be protected with the varnish uh, this one also is not completed up there. There should be a glass and other things. There are other things that I have to fix. So it is not completely fixed. But I'll do that step by step as I go on. I have only done the two doors. The front door and the back door. The inner doors are not done but i have placed the frames just like this one here the frames are there so this ones will be done after i've done the tiling i want to do the tiling first is when i do the doors so that i can know i can know uh, the measurement of the door you know down there when the tiles are not there sometimes there is a space if you do the the doors before the tiling sometimes it will leave a space so what i want to do is first do the tiling and then i do the doors all of the doors inside the house are not done they all look like this at least now I've fixed the doors. They are going to be protected from the sun and the rain. I've not finished everything, but I know I'll fix everything when I'm completing the house. The last painting will be done when I've finished the house. So this one is just good enough uh, to protect the doors. So thank you for being with me. Thank you for tuning in my channel. 
I kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you are new here, consider subscribing and let's meet on my next video.